I'm an entrepreneur at heart. Uh, I love and live for building companies. Today on Dog and Pony, we're talking about building a personal brand. How do you do it and how does it help? To show you the ropes, we've got Kelly Perdue, a serial high achiever who learned self-promotion from the master, Donald Trump. Kelly Perdue, welcome to Dog and Pony. Glad to be here, Paul. All right, to get us warmed up, we're going to do something we call Once Around the Track. That's where I ask you a series of questions. You give me quick answers. We'll do as many as we can in 30 seconds. You ready? Let's do it. All right. Where did you grow up? Louisville, Kentucky. Who's your business role model? Watching my father operate building companies. Personal role model? Grandpa. Gave me the poem If by Rudyard Kipling, very young, and tried to follow it. Cardio or free weights? Both. What did you want to be when you were a kid? Marine biologist. And if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Healing. Be able nice. to heal anybody. All right. You've been once around the track. All right, let's do a Reader's Digest resume, shall we? West Point alum, Army Ranger, Airborne, lawyer, MBA, entrepreneur, author, winner of The Apprentice 2. You don't sleep much, do you? <laughs> yeah, you can sleep when you're dead. Yeah? What, what, where, where did this motivation come from? There had to be a spark in you at an early age. I have always uh, sought out challenges, uh, really trying to shoot for the top on things. And I find if I'm not doing a lot of things, I end up getting in trouble. So I need to stay busy. <laughs> have you ever failed at anything? Oh, absolutely. Um, businesses, uh, relationships. I think you learn the most, actually, from the things that you uh, have to struggle through. And how has your military training benefited you in, in business? Well, I actually wrote a book about that called Take Command. Ten leadership principles I learned in the military and put to work for Donald Trump. I think uh, I was very fortunate to have the military background, learned a lot, uh, definite focus on leadership, mm -hmm. uh, passion, planning, perseverance. All of those elements build uh, to give you a great tool set. And I think uh, one of the things that I try to do when I speak, when I go out and talk to people, is remind corporate America that there's a huge pool of leadership talent and those people that are getting out of the military every year. Self-promotion is obviously a very important to your career, but you also lead companies, start companies. Tell me, when somebody asks you what you do, what do you tell them? I'm an entrepreneur at heart. Uh, I love and live for building companies, uh, meeting entrepreneurs who have great ideas and helping them take those visions and turning them into reality for mm -hmm. the employees, for the customers, for the community. Uh, it's what I feel you know, made this country great in terms of having that small business owner be able to build that business into something. Uh, it's what I'm really fired up about. Okay, so what does that mean? You're a consultant or you're an investor? What are you? Uh, well, I've actually played a lot of different roles. I am operationally involved with a company right now called Pro Elite, and we're building an online community for everybody who's uh, interested in, associated with, or participating in any kind of martial arts. So especially mixed martial arts right now, fastest growing sport in the world. I run you know, our division of the company mm -hmm. and provide the vision, provide the guidance, and I look at myself as a, in a leadership role as really paving the way and allowing really good people to do great things. And what, what solutions did Pro Elite bring to the table for their customers? Pro Elite provides an online space where you can use a bunch of different tools. So let's say you're a gym or a dojo. Mm -hmm. um, typically they don't have a good marketing presence. Right. Uh, they don't have access to new students. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have registration modules for the tournaments they run. They can't take online payment from their students. They take checks and it's in the back room. So looking at all these problems and listening to the customer and hearing the feedback, we create the tools that provide solutions for them. And how fast is that company growing? Well, in nine months, uh, we've raised about $40 million. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a deal with Showtime, where we're actually putting fights on for mixed martial arts as well. And we're, at, I think, around 45,000 registered members in less than five months of being live. Why do you put so much time into sort of telling people who you are and what you're all about? Well, working with Donald Trump for a year, I learned a lot about real estate. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't a real estate guy going into that environment. I learned even more about marketing and branding. Mm -hmm. And if you think about all the different things that have the Trump name on them, like throw out a few, golf course, vodka, vodka, casino, buildings, steaks, sure. games, watches, right. suits, you name Hair. it. The reason he's capable of doing that is because of his attention to detail and quality in the real estate market. Mm -hmm. So he figured something out, did it very, very well, and took that brand and expanded it with that quality under, underpinning to other products. I think that if you're able to communicate who you are and what you do in a certain area, then that's transferable to other areas where you can have a big impact as well. Did you really learn that much on The Apprentice, or did this just give you the opportunity to do what you were already doing on a, on a broader scale? I, mean, I was incredibly fortunate to actually get on the show. I do feel like I was very well prepared for that environment based on ranger school, based on law and business school, based on being an entrepreneur and having started a lot of different companies. Mm -hmm. uh, I learned a lot uh, about media as well. 
you uh, better understand how to use it to your advantage. Or your, and if, because if you don't, your competitor does, they'll hand you your lunch. Do you, do you have a balanced life? It seems like you're so motivated and so focused that sometimes it would be hard to maintain balance. Yeah, one of the, uh, the first companies that I started, I threw everything out the window except for the business, mm -hmm. and it ended up tanking. Um, <laughs> and you know, I woke up you know, a year and a half later, you know, kind of out of shape, uh, had lost touch with a lot of friends, mm -hmm. uh, you know, destroyed my personal relationship. Right. And what I would offer, and this is what I talk about in the book as well, is you have to define success for yourself. Whatever it might be, mm -hmm. you need to find, figure out for yourself what it is that's important to you mm -hmm. and then prioritize things accordingly. So I do think that I now have a much more balanced life than I did after my uh, first startup. So can you give me an example of where uh, you learned flexibility in your work life? The flexibility that I talk about when I, when I say that people that come from the military sometimes looked at as not being flexible when I, when I really feel that it's, nothing could be farther from the truth. Um, in the military, you're given objectives as a commander. So, you know, take that bridge, take that hill, defend this position. And you're not told how to do that. You actually have to figure that out because there's not a standard operating procedure for every type of environment. In business, the same is true. If you look at how a competitor is reacting, uh, if you look at how you're going to take a product to market, if you even look at the marketplace, each one of those is going to be different and you can't apply the same solution to each one of those problems. So you mentioned your father and your grandfather as role models for you. Tell me a little bit more about uh, what you saw your dad doing as, as, a, as a business person and how that inspired you. Absolutely. I watched uh, my father as a land developer mm -hmm. um, look at a piece of land, envision what could be there, go out and pull all the different resources together to make it happen. I think that's where my entrepreneurial blood kind of, you know, I got, the, I got the fever from that and watching him operate right. that way, taking nothing and creating something of significant value. Seeing a green field and saying, I see asphalt. Yeah, exactly. That kind right. of thing. Okay, Kelly, this is the segment we call None of Your Business. And this is where I ask you slightly impolite questions to which you can either give us a straight answer and illumination, or you can tell me none of my business and what to do. You ready for this? All right. When was the last time you cried? Uh, probably when my grandfather passed away a year and a half ago at 100 years old. Have you ever dated one of the ring girls? I have never dated a ring girl to my knowledge. <laughs> Would you like to expound <laughs> upon that? Well, I'm not sure, you know, everybody's complete backgrounds, but I don't think that I've dated a ring girl. Fair enough. And finally, are you going to run for public office or what? I've been asked that question a lot before. I think eventually I will run for public office. Where are you going to start? I don't like to start near the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. All right. Uh, before we're done, anything you'd like to plug, tell our audience about? Uh, anybody who's interested in martial arts or mixed martial arts, check out ProElite.com. And uh, for those of anybody who wants to get a hold of me or get in contact with me, KellyPerdue.com, K-E-L-L-Y-P-E-R-D-E-W.com has all my information. And I try to reply to every single email. Great. Kelly Perdue, thanks very much for joining us on Dog and Pony. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for upcoming guests, you can email me at paul at dogandpony.tv. Thanks for stopping by. See you soon. Dog and Pony. Dog and Pony.